for the love of everything good and holy, will Brian Hartline and the Ohio State Buckeyes leave some five-star receivers for the rest of us? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Ohio State went and doubled back and got another five-star receiver and the second best receiver in the class of 2023. I'm, of course, talking about American Heritage wide receiver Brandon Ennis. The six-foot, 190-pound receiver is the fourth best player in Florida, the second best receiver in the country, and the 18th best player in the class of 2023. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little salty with this one. I thought because Malachi Nelson was his quarterback in the 7-on-7 seven seven scene, you know, he would have been a USC Trojan, but... Fair play. Fair, fair play. Fair, fair play. He's a, he's a Buckeye. Fair play. So be sure to leave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you can stay up to date with all the latest college football recruiting news. All right, let's jump into it and take a look at another one of the five-star receivers that Ohio State has picked up. Three, two, one. Okay, so Brandon Ennis, this dude, man, he, to me, it, to me, he is tied for the best receiver in the country with Zachariah Branch. I think Zachariah Branch gives you something different with just his pure speed. You just can't really teach it. But Brandon Ennis is the most complete receiver. And you got picked up Carnell Tate yesterday. Who, literally, Carnell Tate and Brandon Ennis is going to be one of the deadliest combos. I mean, if y'all thought that uh, Jackson and, and Smith and Jibba, or and Jibba Smith and Marvin Harrison Jr. was a deadly combo, this could be equally, if not better, of a combo. I mean, y'all are just going absolutely crazy. And you know, if if receiver don't work out for him, he could play some quarterback. He played he played uh most of the season for American Heritage at quarterback because I'm assuming their quarterback got hurt. So a, a lot of, a lot of this tape is going to be him at receiver, him at a quarterback. But hey, he's showing off the wheels. I mean, look at the explosiveness. Great, great speed for his size. Six foot one ninety. Like this dude. He can flat out move. He got ups. He got. He can make the contested catches. To me, he's the best contested ball uh, catcher in the entire country. He, when he goes up, he flat out just comes down with it. He. It's not a 50-50 ball with him. He is just simply coming down with it. But hey, again, if you if you need him at quarterback, hey, I know y'all got CJ Stroud there, but hey, he can straight up just drop some dimes. I mean, look at the ball placement. Hey, I know, I know we're here. To, we'll, we'll get to his receiver highlights in a second. But no, he he can flat out throw the ball as well. Quick little release. And then 14's got some speed. Jeez, he got up out of there. What a throw. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, Brandon Ennis is going to be such a solid receiver for y'all. Finally got him, got him in the slot right here. I'm telling y'all, if y'all haven't seen him in just the seven on seven scene, this dude, I mean, look at him split that. He's strong, he's got great acceleration and speed. Like I said, he's got he's got solid ups and he can go up and just flat out just muscle you on, on, the, uh, on the deep ball. I mean, again, coming down with that with ease. He high points the ball extremely well. Great body control. I'm, I, I, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, again, I'm a little salty. I really did think that because Malachi Nelson was his quarterback, this whole 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament for SFE, I thought, I thought that we got him. I thought that USC was going to be able to bring him in. But Ohio State had a double up with the five-star recruits like they did last year and the year before that. And just keep on getting all these five-star uh, wide receivers. Again, whatever y'all are paying Brian Hartline, y'all got to double or triple that. This dude, he, ooh, split, split through that. Brian Hartline is getting y'all, Brian Hartline has single-handedly turned y'all into wide receiver you. I can say that definitively. He has single-handedly put you not only in the conversation, but I think now it is quite clear y'all are wide receiver you. It, it, at least in the at least in the 2010s and the 2020s, y'all have had so much talent come through Ohio State. It's insane. Great route. And I think pairing him up with with Carnell Tate, on top of the, all the other receiving talent that you got on that field, is going to be absolutely phenomenal. 
Carnell Tate reminds me of, of more of like a Justin Jefferson type receiver or like a Devontae Adams. A little bit more like a, like a smaller Devontae Adams, where it's like his release bag is insane. And then uh, Brandon Innes reminds me a lot of Anquan Bolden. Just a big body, physical, just well, well-rounded receiver. Little Joe break screen. Give me that. Gone. Gone. Nice. There it is. Nope. Get him up off of you. Keep on scrambling. Keep on scrambling. Take off. Take off. Take off on him one time. So that is what the Ohio State Buckeyes latest five-star pickup and Brandon Ennis is looking like on the field. So far, y'all picked up the second and third best receiver in the country, and you also got a four-star receiver to back that up as well. All my Ohio State fans, y'all should be turning up right now because y'all offense is going to be dynamic for years to come. Comment down below what you guys think of Brandon Ennis' highlight tape. Comment down below how hyped you guys are for getting him. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn all your notifications. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers, and we keep y'all up to date with all of the latest college football news and with all that being said i love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao